chicks. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. It has taken me so long to go live in this page. But hi, I'm here. This is Lisa Hurth. And thank you, Debbie, for having me. She invited me to chat with you girls for a little while. So I'm just going to wait, see if anybody jumps on here. And many of you may remember that back in, I think, I believe it was July, I was still in England. Back in July, I asked you to think about what you would do with an extra thousand dollars, pounds, US dollars, Australian dollars, New Zealand dollars, whatever, Canadian dollars, a thousand dollars extra a month. And what you would do with an extra thousand dollars, pounds, whatever, a week. And what would you do with an extra thousand dollars or pounds a day? And I know that, hi, Robia. Um, I know that many of you probably can't even think past an extra thousand dollars a month um, because that's what many of us just need, that little extra, right? Um, and some of you may not even be motivated by money at all, but I want you to hang in there because um, I'm pretty sure that most people are motivi motivated by money even if they don't know it, okay? Hey! Okay, so I'm just going to go into this. If you miss this, then of course just watch me later on and let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help you. So um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about vision, why and goals and why that's so important and how it's going to relate to your business. Now, I know I was supposed to do this a month ago. I When I posted my first post about thousands, I was in England traveling with my little boys. And then, um, and I just couldn't find a good time over there when I had good internet and good lighting um, in order to go live for you. But then I came back and we went to JamCon. Who was at JamCon? Give me some hearts. Mm -hmm. Yep, it was awesome. Um, and then my kids are back at school and then we just been life. Okay, so that's lots of excuses for you, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, okay, since then though, this is where I was going with that. Since then, Debbie has posted in here how she's making some changes to this group in order to move forward with you. And I know exactly how she feels because I do this with my leader page quite often, probably about once a quarter where I kind of like go through and skim through and see who's really actively working their business and who really um, is taking on the advice and the, um, and the training that uh, us leaders are giving them. And that is nothing against those who aren't, maybe taking it on. Um, everybody has different goals in this business and we're going to go through that a little bit today. Everybody has different motivation. Everyone has different why. And it's okay if you have to have something different, but from a leader standpoint, we're here to work with the ones that give us the effort and that, and that show us that they are committed to this business. Um, because we're working our businesses too, right? We're looking for income generating activities and that is something that we're looking for. So the leaders that want to step up and work this business with us. So I know that was awful. Okay, so um, I lost, I even lost Robia. What is up with that? Okay, I'm gonna go through this. Oh, then maybe she's back. <laughs> I'm gonna go through this really quickly and I'm gonna speak really fast for two reasons. One, I really have to pee. I don't know why I started this video <laughs> without going to the bathroom first. Two, my husband has me on this like new, like nutrition plan. I'm not even gonna say it's a diet because I really don't feel like I'm dieting, but I have to eat every so often and I'm already two minutes past when I'm supposed to eat. What? Um, all right, so for those of you who don't know me, I'm a legacy elite, which means I hit it a, a while ago and I'm not holding that rank. Um, I'm not even holding premier right now, but we're holding lead executive, uh, which I'm very proud of because I lost a lot of my team and a lot of my major leaders walked away. Okay, and um, they walked away without warning, without excuse, uh, without telling me, and um, we've had to rebuild that team since. And we held, sorry, I've got an itch. We held senior executive for a long time, and we've worked our way back up to lead. And we currently have between four and five legs of those big legs hitting rank every month, but one will hit it and the other one won't. So we don't all hit at the same time, and then so you know that goes like that. Anyway, so. Well, the reason why I'm telling you that is because if I didn't hold on to my vision and the reason why I joined this business, um, then I probably would have given up a long time ago. Now, my sponsor is Rachel Hughes. Kudos to her. She's an amazing um, visionary. And when we joined, none of us really knew how to clue what we were doing in direct sales, okay? Um, however, she did a little bit of vision training, and I believe it was from Belinda Ellsworth, and she passed it along to us. And this is something that I pride myself in knowing very well, and it's why I'm going to teach you all about it today, okay? Um, it's something that I pass on to my leaders and my team, because I really want to build um, 
longevity and sustainability across my leaders. And that doesn't happen without having really concrete visions and really concrete whys. Because us as women, we naturally compare ourselves to other people. Hands up if you are guilty of that, comparing yourself to, oh, she joined like six months after me, but she already outpromoted me, or she's on my downline and she outpromoted me. Like, what? Don't worry about it. Everyone has different goals, different vision with this um, business, and we all work our, our businesses differently, and that's okay. All right, so back to my vision. I have a vision for my business. I have a vision, vision for my life, and my the vision that I have for my life is where I want to be in five to ten years, and I, that's what I want you to think about. Like, just take a second and think to yourself, what does my life look like in five to ten years? What house am I living in? What area am I living in? What car am I driving? What job do I have? What school do my kids go to? Um, how many pets do I have? Are they groomed? Are they not groomed? Okay, are my carpets clean or do I have wood floors? Like seriously, get really, really specific with what your life looks like in five to ten years. Okay, and if there's some major things that you want to change between now and five to ten years, I just want you to jot them down. Just like scribble them down on a piece of paper for a second. Okay. Guilty, guilty, I need to hear this. I've been in a place of hurt in so many months and feeling the idea of rebuilding is so scary. But you can do it, okay? I'm here to tell you you can do it. If I can do it, flipping anyone can. I always say if I, if I can do this business, anyone can because I, I'm not this girly girl. I was a tombo, tomboy growing up. I was an athlete. I have three little boys. I don't, didn't do my nails. I literally was drawn to this business for the business, okay? Not necessarily these pretty things, but they're kind of cute. So I keep them around. Okay, so if I can do it, you can do it. All right, so if there's a couple of things that you think on your list in five to ten years that you really want to change, like the major things you want to change in the next five to ten years, and like just jot them down if that's like the car or maybe it's, I don't know, you want curtains in your house. Like be real, like whatever that is for you. And for everybody, it's going to be totally different, okay? All right, maybe it's a new roof. That's fine too. Like whatever it is you feel like is very imminent, like it has to happen in the next five to 10 years. You really wanna make that change, okay? All right, that's your vision. Your vision is how you live your life in the next like long term, like five to 10 years, okay? All right, that's your vision for your life though. Then you need to have a vision for your business. And your business vision contributes to your life vision. So if you want to live in a mansion and you want to live in the Caribbean and you want to have your own private jet, really you're gonna be looking at elite and being paid at elite consistently. So then, so that's what your vision for your business five to 10 years from now, right? So you need to make them connect. So your life vision and your business vision have to connect. All right, we're gonna really break it down. I'm not gonna to give too many more examples other than like little ones from me. I'm not going to give you random ones, okay? Um, because I really don't want to plant seeds for you. They have to be yours, all right? Okay, so I do a lot of reading. Well, I try to. And when I say a lot, I mean like I really try to complete one book a month. doesn't really happen. I normally have like three or four books on the go at the same time. And I have one on my desk, one on my nightstand, one on my purse, one on my car. So that any time I can just grab a book and just like get a little bit of inspiration. Maybe it's a leadership book. Maybe it's a motivation book. Maybe it's a professional book. Maybe it's the Bible. Whatever you, what, like, just have them around. Okay, whatever's going to inspire you. Okay. Um, but anyway, I read this one book and I when I say one book I mean like part of a book from Tom Barrett and he really talks about your vision your why and your goals and breaking them down and it really resonated with me okay so he says to break them down into four areas and when I say them I'm being very very um, generic right now on when I talk about vision why and goals and I'll kind of explain that a little bit in a minute just bear with me okay all right so it means these areas that you're going to go for you're going to break them down into four parts when people join Jamberry, um, typically they have something in mind that they want to do straight away. Maybe it's put gas in the car. Maybe it's pay off a credit card. Okay, whatever it is, um, it's something. Typically, it's very practical. It's something that they perhaps share in common with their, with their spouse. Maybe, um, like I said, they need a new car, or maybe it's stashing money away to put your kids in private school. Like it's that main goal for the family, a main goal with your spouse, your supporting person, or just you, just your main goal. Okay, so that's your practical. And, um, but nobody thinks about the rest of it. Now, if somebody was to say to me like, hey, Lisa, you need to go book four more parties, and my goal is to pay off my credit card, do you really think I'm gonna go book four more parties? Like that doesn't really tug on my heartstrings because we have the money to pay it off the minimum every month, right? But for me to like go out and do it, there's no drive, there's no motivation, there's no like, oh yes, let's go pick up the phone and book for more parties so I can pay off my credit card. Doesn't happen. Okay, so Tom Barrett then he ex he says he's 
he's a success writer. You can go look him up. He says to break it all down into four main areas. So we're going to talk about those four main areas real quick. Now, these four areas build your vision. Okay, so you're not breaking your vision down. You're, um, they build your vision. Okay, so you have this vision of where you're going to be in five to ten years. And these four areas help you accomplish that vision. Okay. I know it's a little crazy. Bear with me. Okay, so the first area is practical. What is that something that you need to do in order to make your life better? Um, like for Debbie, she needs her car back on the road, right? Uh, for me, I need to pay my car off. I need to pay my student loan off, right? Um, that's just like that burden that's on my shoulder. Like these are the things I need to do, I need to do. When I joined, however, it was just to make a profit. We were living paycheck to paycheck, young military family. Um, like I barely had the money to scrape together to join. Like I just didn't. And so um, the goal was to make a profit. And I was in a, another direct selling company before and I was losing money. Like they had three catalogs a year and I had to have the stuff to show because people wanted to like figure out like what, how they fit on their aunt, like I was 31, okay? So they wanted to know how it fit and like what it looked like and what they could fit in inside these bags and totes and stuff. And so I had to feel like I had to buy a lot of the product and then my sales just wouldn't turn it around. Um, okay, so anyway, so I wanted just to make a profit. That was my goal, okay? So when people join, they have this main practical something, okay? Something in their heart that they want to achieve. And that's what we call practical, okay? So I want you to write this down, like in a grid, like draw a big cross in the middle, like down and across, and in that top left corner, write practical. And you're going to have like three or four bullet points of practical things that you could use January earnings for in your life right now, okay? In order to get to that big five, ten year vision for your business goal, which affects your life goal, okay? All right, once you've done the practical, we're going to move on to the second part, which is fun and frivolous. Okay, now, I am not a purse girl, I'm not a shoe girl, but you might be, okay? I have a great house, like we really do. I'm not boasting, I'm just telling you this is the situation. Uh, it's fairly new, I think it was built in 2013, so nothing necessarily needs to be done to it. But I like to go to like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and antique stores, and I like to go and spend my money on things to decorate my house in like seasonal photo frames and H's that I have like over there <laughs> things in my welcome entryway um so, so little things like that it's not necessary it's not a need it's purely a want it's that fun frivolous side of life that everybody wants like maybe you saw that cute purse in the store maybe it, um you have an addiction with LuLaRoe or another little local boutique like I do my little friend she has a little clothing boutique and I'm getting all girly over here I just bought like this cami with like lace trim on the bottom that's fun and frivolous so those things that you have in your have your eye on like make that part of your this is part of my vision I want to live like this, this is what I want to look like every day and so maybe that's part of your fun frivolous okay so you're gonna write those things down another part of my fun frivolous you guys are gonna think I'm totally crazy, but we have three dogs and a cat, <laughs> and one of the dogs he's just turned 16 months, or he's about to turn 16 months, and so he just lived out his puppy day days in my living room, in my formal living room that has cream carpet that now looks disgusting because he's puked on it, he's peed on it, he's pooped on it, and plus I have three little boys. On top of that, I am extraordinary. You are right, <laughs> extraordinary, not extraordinary. <laughs> okay, so I have this living room, right, and I need really. I don't necessarily need to, but it'd be my fun, frivolous project to put hardwood in there. I know I'm a little crazy. So, um, so that's also on my fun, frivolous list. I've got them right here, my fun, frivolous. What else? I want a fire pit in my backyard. Yep, not a need. It's absolutely a want. Okay, so I hope you guys get that picture of um, what would go into that category. All right, the third category. So you've got practical on the top left, fun, frivolous on the top right, um, bottom left is memorable and this is one of my favorites okay so something memorable might be jam con or it might be going on a cruise or it might be having a weekend away by yourself or like kid free or it might be going to see your long lost sister for a weekend or a girls weekend or la 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 something that's going to cause a memory for you okay um so i'm just going to go back to me for a minute because clearly i like talking about myself <laughs> Oh my god, I'm awful. Okay, so uh, in April, this is a really good point actually. In April, my memorable goal was to take my kids to Disney World, like totally on January pay without touching our regular budget. Um, and I got to do that. 
And, um, but once I did that then, then I had to reassess like, what else am I going to slot in there to keep me goal orientated, right? Orientated, oriented, you know, choose. Okay. So I now have put in a Disney cruise because Disney world is not a vacation. <laughs> I don't care what you say. It's not, it's a trip and it's exhausting. And so I did not come back rejuvenated at all. I was exhausted. It was a great time with my kids. My kids like had a blast. My youngest got to meet Mickey Mouse and I was like a blubbering mess because it was awesome. And it's like his little, like he just loves Mickey Mouse. So anyway, so I really want to do a Disney cruise where my husband and I can relax a little bit. The kids can still get their Disney fix. They can still go and do their fun things, but we all get to be together as a family yet. Um, you know, it's a little bit more relaxing than Disney, but I slotted that in. So once you achieve one, you can cross it off. I like to have that like, yeah, I crossed it off and like leave it there for a couple of minutes. Like, yes, not minutes, like months. Like, yes, I achieved that. Um, if you want, leave it up there like all year so you can really see how much of a great year you've had. Okay. Um, don't just like erase it because then you'd be like, you feel like you're never getting anywhere. All right. But then slot something else in there once you've achieved something. All right. Okay, so that's your memorable. Number four then is significant. And this plays a big part in what Jamberry is. Be a blessing, uh, be a family, be unique, right? Um, hashtag because of Jamberry, thank you Debbie Bird. Um, but all those things like the, where you can pay it forward and you can give back to your community. Maybe it's tithing at your church. Um, maybe it's fundraising consistently for the same organization every month. Like whatever it is for you, um, pick that something mem um, significant and run with it, okay? For me, unfortunately, um, I have two friends that have very sick kiddos and they're right around my, my kiddos' ages. At some point, we've lived in the same place. Um, we're military, so we move around a lot. And they really like have really sick kids and they're very far away and there's not much I can do with them. I can't do meal trains or anything like that. So... Um, I asked them like specifically what they need and they said that they need uh, gas cards, restaurant gift certificates, like um, hotel stays, like that type of thing. And with my January business, I can do that, but it's on my vision board. Now, if Rachel Hughes was to call me and say, hey girl, you need to book four more parties and I just had to think about my practical debt, that is not going to get me booking parties. But if I get to think about my home decor, my wood floor in my living room, my... Um, my Disney cruise and then those two little kiddos of ours, of the friends of ours um, that need help. Like, yes, that's going to help me motivate myself to book my calendar. Does that make sense? Like, you have to have things that are going to tug on your heartstrings. If they don't tug on your heartstrings, like, it's, it's, you, they, okay, your why has to be bigger than your why not, okay? So those things, your why has to tug on your heartstrings, okay? So let's bring it back again. Let's bring it back to that whole big picture of five to ten years vision for your life. What does your life look like? And five to ten years uh, vision for your business, which complements what your life looks like. Once you have that business vision of what that needs to be, then you can break it down, okay? My why, part of my why um, because of the way I want to live my life is to have leaders in every co country that we open in. Okay, so far I'm good. Other than I don't think I have a leader in New Zealand. What? That sucks. Okay, but I'm working on it. Okay, um, Mexico launches right around the corner, and that's part of my business vision is to do that. When I work my business like this, it it makes me work with intention. So I don't just get on Facebook and screw around and like throw out, hey, anybody wanna have a party? No, I'm very, very diligent about the way I work my business, okay? Why do I want people to have parties? For my part, the, my part. I mean, yes, we're service oriented, we want them to have pretty nails and beautiful blah, 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 blah. But we're, we're working this business for us at the end of the day, right? Okay, so, and what does that look like? You guys, you have to figure this out because if you don't, like you'll go quiet, nobody we work in, the numbers will drop significantly and us as leaders, Debbie and I and all your other leaders, interim leaders, whatever, we want you to succeed for whatever your goals are. Don't work hours. Figure out what yours are. What, what is your, that big vision that you can break down into your why, why are you doing this? Okay, because once you have that set, once you really have it, it doesn't change very often. Like, yes, like every six to 12 months, you want to review it. But typically, if you have it really specific, it's not going to change very much. And it's going to keep you really motivated. And then you can work on your individual goals, 
six to nine months down the road, so from now until next conference, what do you want to achieve? Do you want to be a team manager walking across the stage or do you want to be the next executive? And why? Why do you want to be the next team manager? Is that because that provides you an extra thousand dollars a month? Or do you want to be the executive that's going to earn an extra three to five thousand dollars a month? Because that fits into your business plan and your vision plan. What? Nailed it. Okay, I know you guys have got this down. So um, a little homework for you. In the next week, well, actually, no homework deadline because, hello, this is your business, not mine. So I want you to, when you have it figured out, I want you to show me your vision board. And that doesn't have to, you don't have to have pretty pictures. You don't have to have any of that. I seriously just want a list of like your practical, your fun, frivolous, your memorable and your significant goals. And if you're not comfortable sharing that with me, you don't have to. You can share it with Debbie, your interim leader, whoever that is. And once you have those things, then make your vision board. Okay? Don't skip a step. You have to make these things, write these things down. Pretty picture of the hardwood floors, pretty picture of the cruise boat, um, pretty picture of those girls that I'm raising the, that, those uh, gift card funds for, okay? And that's what goes on your vision board. You can also put what your life looks like in five to 10 years. If you have a house in mind, if you have a car in mind, whatever that looks like for you, maybe you're serving for others, like put the picture of that, them up there, okay? They'll be at the very top. Then you have to be really specific, okay? In order to continue to working, okay. I have to go pee, <laughs> and I really um, need to eat. So, who has any questions? I'll hang out for a couple of minutes. I see I only have one live, so I don't know if that's Nicole or Robia or Debbie. We keep going on and off. I don't know. Anybody have any questions for me? Did you know that it's best to pluck your eyebrows while you're in the car during the day? Look, don't they look great? That's what I just did in my car. <laughs> I'm a nutcase. I maybe have too much, I maybe had too much coffee this morning. It's not good. <laughs> okay, anyone have any questions for me? Maybe specifically about vision, why, goals, breaking it down, those four areas, or maybe about something else. That's fine too. What is your number one tip for someone who is rebuilding this? Um, definitely having a like a path, a path to go down. Because if you don't have this, it's like you're getting your car. You have a map, but you have no destination. So you basically just keep going around the roundabout, or like wherever you are. You just keep driving around. You don't know where you're going. You have no intention. So that basically having that, because once you have that, you have that motivation to work your business like with intent, right? Um, that's the easy answer. Um, the second one is to have regular accountability calls with your upline. So with your upline team manager, um, upline executive, that type of thing, like have regular, like weekly accountability calls. Like these, this is what I want to achieve this week. And this is what I'm going to do. And then the next week you reflect on what you did or didn't do and make new goals. Okay. And a tip for building vision in others. I think you have to let your other people know what your vision is right um because when they when they see you dreaming big um they will start to dream big too and then teach them how to do a vision like what i just taught you like teach them how to break their vision down um to make it into their why goals and they'll be a lot more motivated um does that help so if i said just to do a new consultant what would you want to achieve out of this and she just says i want to make a profit Okay, what does that mean? Okay, why do you want to make a profit? What, like, right? Then I would open up, because that was me, right? I said I just wanted to make a profit. Well, we're living paycheck to paycheck. Okay, so ideally in your head, what would, what is it, what's that number that you want to achieve every month, right? In order to have a successful life. And at the time, I don't think I could tell you. I just, I would have just said like a profit, right? So I needed to work my business a couple of weeks. But then I went to JamCon uh, four years ago, so wait, hang on, 2013, so yeah, four JamCons ago, I went to JamCon and I listened to Jared and Adam and the sisters and they're actually the testimony as to why I'm still here because I heard Jared talk about global vision and I was sold. I was like, yes, I'm working this business. And I came home from that conference with Rachel Engelbretson and um, Rachel Hughes and I, we stayed up until like four o'clock in the morning, like writing out 
what our goals were for the next year until conference and it was to make executive so that we could get to um, in the Founders Club, right? Just little things like that. But the bigger why, the bigger goal was for me to make a full-time income like my husband did so that it took the financial strain off of my husband. That was my initial like one year like vision. That, that's, I couldn't really see past that. Um, and then in order to st sustain that, I needed to have a, a million dollar team, right? I needed to have like 10 legs doing 100,000 or whatever. I had that all broken down. And so... Um, so that's where, that's where that conversation needs to go with those new recruits. As soon as they come in the door, like, what is it you want to get out of this? Let's figure it out. Um, and let's get those four to six parties on the book so that we can get cracking. Okay. Definitely going to make a vision board. I did it once when I first hit TM and never did again. Yeah, you have to keep rebuilding it. Um, it helps a lot. I needed this. Great. I'm glad. Okay. So even if it's one person, yay. Um, okay. Don't start with your vision board though. Like, Start with those that big life vision, five to ten years, the business vision, five to ten years to support it, and then break the four areas down and have like three to four bullet points in each of practical, fun, frivolous, memorable, and significant, and then work your goals from that. In order to achieve those things, what do you need to do? Okay, do it in that order. All right, girls. Okay, thanks for hanging with me. And um, if you're watching this later on, if you have any questions, I'm in this page until Debbie boots me out. So um, just tag me in the comments and let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help you, okay? And re I really have to go to the bathroom now, okay? I don't have to finish this. So, okay, there it is. <laughs> All right, bye, girls.